What's up, y'all? What's your boy Chaz? I figured, you know, while we for the dishes to soak a bit, that I would come on here and do something I haven't really done before, which is, you know, a little motivation, man. Because I see way too many people getting down and out a lot of stuff. So hopefully this little video segment thing, whatever you want to call it, you know, hopefully it helps you guys out. It helps motivate you guys to do what you want to do with your lives. And I know that, you know, I got stuff on stuff on those. I'm sick because I just got the flu shot the other day, which sucks. But I'm holding strong. So, yeah. Eh, went too far. Or is that all? Oh, yeah, that is. All right. But, uh, you know, one thing that I do see, you know, way too many people, I and mean, one thing I get asked a lot by people is, you know, they ask me, you know, how do I have time to do what I do? Like, how do I have time for music, doing YouTube videos, movies? You know, these videos, like, how do I have time for all that on top of my gaming channel for YouTube? Like, how do I have to, like, where do I make the time? It's because I make time. It's because I don't let anything stop me or get in the way. And, you know, one thing I see all over social media is people telling me, or just in general putting it out there, you know, oh, I can't follow my dreams because of this, because of that. And da, 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 you know, I can't do what I want to do because of my job. And and that's and that's not true. Just only say that what you're saying to yourself or putting out there is not true. That, you know, you can do what you want to do. But the truth is, the only thing that's stopping you is yourself. The only thing that's stopping you from doing what you want to do with your life is yourself. It's not your mom, it's not your dad, it's not the money. The only person stopping you from doing what you want to do with your life and following your own dreams is yourself because you're getting in your own way. You've got yourself convinced that you can't fucking do it. You need to change that around. You need to stop getting in your own way and start thinking, hey, I can do this. Even if you stand alone. You know, take that leap. Go for it. Because I want to tell you something, people might laugh at you and make fun of you, yeah. You know, I get laughed at all the time because of what I do. You know, because of my music style, how I do my music, I get made fun for that. I get made fun of for that all the time. All the time I get made fun of for that. Every day. But you know what? I look past it because you know what? I'm doing something with my life. I'm doing what I love. Yeah, I might not pay money right now, but I'm working towards that. Money for me is a byproduct. I don't care whether I get paid today, tomorrow, or two, three years from now. Money is a byproduct of what I'm doing. I would do what I love for free. And that's how you're going to have to start out. You're going to have to start out doing what you love for free, for free at first. And maybe a year, and maybe two, three, four, five, six, seven years. But eventually, you're gonna get to that point to where you're gonna get paid for doing what you love to do with your, what you want to do with your life. You know, and I hear that excuse all the time. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. But the truth is, you can. Like I said, it's just you're too afraid to take that way because you're getting in your own way and you're letting people judge you. You're letting people's opinions dictate what you do. Like I said, you need to stop letting people get in your way. Now, let me ask you this. And this is something I actually got asked very recently, actually, is when you're on your deathbed, 30, 40, 50, 60 years from now. Do you want to look back on your life and ask yourself, what if I did this? What if I did that? 
do you want to ask yourself, like, do you want to be that person that asks themselves, you know, what if I did do this? You know, what if I did take that leap and follow my dreams? What would have happened? Or do you want to look back on your life and be like, I did something with my life. I did what I wanted to do. You know, I made my career a reality. I did what I wanted to do with my life and I made time for it. And I didn't let anyone or anyone, anything stop me. Even if you stand alone. It's better to stand alone doing what you love than to not do it at all. Because let me tell you, the greatest people in the world got laughed at by everyone. Everyone laughed at them. All the greats who are very successful in their careers laughed at them. Everybody from Stan Lee, Hayao Miyazaki, Dale Earnhardt, Earnhardt Jr., You know, even, you know, guys like Lincoln Park, Black Veil Brides, you know, everybody laughed at them. Even bands like Evanescence got laughed at. Even guys like Disturbed and Breaking Benjamin got laughed at. The greatest people in the world, the greatest in the world got laughed at. Everyone in society laughed at them, but you know what? They didn't give they didn't give a second thought to any of that. You wanna know why? Because they were too focused on their goals. They were too focused on what they really wanted to do. Yeah, it may have taken them a long time to reach fame, but you know what? They still did it. They fought as hard as they could, tooth and nail. And yeah, you're going to have to struggle. Even now, I'm still struggling. Even though I've worked with some of the greatest names in music, even now, I'm still struggling. But you know what? That's okay because, you know, one day I know that my time will come to where I do get paid for the stuff that I do. And that's the problem. Everybody's always saying, oh, I don't have time for this or that. But you do have time. You just have to be willing to step outside of that circle, to step outside and say, fuck you to society and do what you want to do. You need to be willing to take that leap and say, screw society. I'm doing what I want to do with my life. Forget what everybody else thinks about me. I'm doing what I want to do with my life, even if it means I get laughed at. Because one thing I've learned, anything worth doing, it doesn't come easy. You're going to have to struggle. You're going to have to fight. You're going to have those days where you get laughed at. You're going to have those days where you feel like giving up. And let me tell you, I get those days too, a lot. We all have those days in our careers where we feel like giving up. But the truth is, if you don't give up and you keep fighting, you can actually do it. I've had several friends of mine that are very successful in their respected careers who went through that same exact thing. They got laughed at. They got made fun of. They got picked on. They got told that they would never make it. They got told that they would never be anything. But you know what? They didn't listen. And because of them not listening to what everyone said, look at where they are now. They're making it huge in their respective careers. They're doing something with their lives. But the question is, what are you doing about what you want to do with your life? Are you really chasing your dream and doing what you want to do? Or are you just letting it sit by and slip through your fingers? You might be thinking to yourself or even saying right now to me, is it, you know, it's too late. That's the thing. It's never too late. It's never too late to get up and do what you want to do with your life. It really is never too late. You can still do it. You know, you're still young. You're, you've got your whole life ahead of you. You can still make your dreams happen. But the question is, are you willing to stop listening to what everyone says? about you and actually going out and doing it regardless of what everyone thinks 
Or are you just going to sit back and let people judge you and let their judgment dictate what you do with your life? You know, if you want that job as a music artist, go for it. If you want that job, you know, as a doctor, as, you know, a race car driver, as, you know, a lawyer or a police officer, whatever it is that you want to do with your life, don't just sit by and let it slip and slip, you know, just don't let it slip through your fingers. You know, get up, go out there and chase after it and don't stop until you fucking get there. Because, like I said, the best people in the world never gave up. Johann Sebastian Bach, one of the greatest, greatest musicians of all time, got laughed at by everyone. Beethoven got laughed at. You know, even guys like Skrillex got laughed at. Hell, even Dead Mouth 5 got laughed at. Eminem got laughed at a lot. But you know what? They kept going. They never let anything get to them. And that's just it. You can't let these people get to you. You know, you got to keep fighting, man. You got to keep your eye on the prize at all times. Even when you feel like you're losing sight of it, you know, you just, you got to keep pushing. Because if you keep pushing, you will regain sight of it again. And yeah, there are going to be times where you feel like you're going backwards and not progressing anyway. Here's the thing. Sometimes when you are going back forwards, backwards, a lot of the times you're actually going forward and you just don't realize it. Sometimes you got to backtrack a little bit rethink things a little bit, and then move forward from there. But the thing is, though, you can't just give in like that. You got to keep going. You know, like I said, don't let anyone or anything stop you. And, And it's like I asked you guys, would you rather be on your deathbed asking yourself, what if I did this and that? Or would you rather look back on your life on your deathbed and say, hey, I did something with my life? You know, stop living in fear. You know, take that leap. Yeah, it might be scary, but every dream we're chasing is scary at one point or another. So like I said, stop letting that fear and everybody around you that's telling you you can't do it, forget about that. Ignore all that and just go for it. Keep telling yourself that you can do it. No matter what anyone says, keep your eye on the prize and keep it going because that's the only way you're ever going to get anywhere. Like I said, yeah, you're going to have times where you feel like giving up. You're going to have times where you struggle. But like I said, Nothing worth doing ever comes easy. Everything that is worth doing always has something that you're going to have to go through. You're going to have to struggle. You're going to have to fight. There are going to be times where you break down and lose it. But you know what? In the long run, as long as you keep going even past that, you're going to make it. That's all part of the process. Even now, like I said, even now, Even I'm still struggling to get to where I truly want to be. You know, even now with me as a music artist and even as a YouTuber, I struggle. But you know what? I don't give in. I keep going because I know eventually I'm going to get there. I know eventually I'm going to get that silver play button and that I'm going to get signed to a major label that's actually going to enjoy what I do. But it's it's all part of the process. You just got to keep on going through the motions. And just don't let anyone or anything get in your way. Anyways, y'all, I hope this did motivate you guys. You know, like I said, stop letting people get in your way. 
And if you want to chase your dreams, you don't make time for it. I don't care whether you work a nine to five job or whatever, you know, make time for what you want to do with your life. Make time for that. Because when you start making time for it and you start chasing it, eventually you're going to get there. But like I said, I do hope that this guy, that this little motivational video did, you know, help you guys a bit. And I hope that it did inspire you guys to, you know, to, you know, do what you really want to do with your life and to not let people dictate what you do. You know, stop letting people get in your way and do what you want to do with your life. Because like I said, and this is the question of the day right here. Do you want to look back on your life? And ask yourself, what if? Or do you want to look back on your life and say, I did something with my life? With that being said, guys, I want you guys to think on that. Love every single one of you guys. And I will see you guys later. Like I said, I do hope that this motivational video helped you guys a bit. Peace.